What's up, YouTube? Welcome to the channel. As you can tell by the title, I have some extremely bad news. If you watched my most recent video that I posted about five days ago, it was a video of me purchasing my seventh car for the my fleet. It was a 2016 Hyundai Elantra. I'll put the link to the video up above. But yeah, it was a, it was a, I, I, bought, I got a good deal in the car. I bought the car, everything went well. But unfortunately, something bad happened. And, but before I tell you guys what happened to the car and how I lost so much money, I lost 6,500 or however much it's gonna cost. Let me talk a little bit about who I am and what I do on this channel. My name is Camry, I live here in Louisville, Kentucky. On this channel, I'll talk about Toro, all the behind the scenes of running a Toro car rental business. I give you guys tips and tricks, how to grow your Toro businesses, and I just help you as best as I can. And I also document my journey in trying to grow my Toro business. So if you want to see more videos like that, please go ahead and uh, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and like the video if it's informational. But yeah, let's get right into the video. Yeah, so now I'm in the car. It looks clean. Everything's nice about it. So I drive down there, get to the dealership. Everything's fine. I get there. It is one of those little, like, ranky-danky type dealerships, but I didn't think nothing of it. And obviously, I wouldn't know that before buying a vehicle because I got off Facebook Marketplace. I mean, I'm already there. I drove like an hour and a half. So I'm at least looking at the vehicle and make sure everything's smooth with it. Get down there, talk to the guy. He's cool. He's nice about everything. I hop in the car. I fiddle around, make sure everything, you know, is moving correctly, make sure the windows work, all the basic stuff, do all that. And then eventually, I go ahead and I test drive the car. So I take the car, I test drive it. And I, when I tell you guys, I test drove this car for a good, probably like 20 minutes. I test drove this car for 20 minutes and it drove smoothly, like 100% smooth, like smoother than my personal car. That's how good the car drove. So I had no complaints at all. The only thing I did have a complaint about was that the backup camera, it was a little bit like foggy. Like you really couldn't see out the backup camera. That was one thing. And then another thing was like the center console thing here. It was like uh, ripping off a little bit. And as you can tell, I just put this cover on here and that pretty much fixes the problem. So that's not a big deal at all. So nothing major. I didn't notice anything major about the car that was alarming or anything like that. So I headed back to go ahead and, you know, get the paperwork signed and buy the car. So we get there, I sign the paperwork. We talk for a little bit. Now, I obviously asked him, there's nothing wrong with the car, correct? Everything like that. He's like, nah, it's cool. Like, I mean, you drove it. I'm like, yeah, you're right. So I'm not thinking nothing of it. So I go ahead and purchase the car. I paid 6500 for it. Uh, after their fees, I believe their fees were like $95. So it was like 65 95 something like that. Basically 6600 um, which is a hell, a hell of a deal for this car. This car, MSRP, I think is um, around 12, 12 grand. Uh, clean title and everything, under 100,000 miles. So that's, you know, that's, I'm, I'm comfortable with that. That's fine. So literally I leave, as I leave, I'm like, damn, like he ain't even put no gas in the car. The car was completely on E. I'm like, he, I bought a car from him, no gas or nothing. So I text him. Well, first, I went to the gas station, filled it up or whatever. And then I texted him the screenshot of how much I spent on gas. I was like, I said something along the lines. I'll probably put the screenshot. I was like, I forgot to ask about gas. Something I don't remember what I said, but basically insinuating, like, dang, I got a car. I just bought the car. I don't get like even no gas at all. Even like a little bit of gas. And I'm doing, I just drove, you know, two hours away to get, come get this car. But he paid, he basically kind of ignored the question. Didn't really reply, nothing like that. So it is what it is. I mean, the car was a good deal. I wasn't tripping. Then I was driving the car because me and my friends went to go get something to eat while we were still in Ohio. So we're driving the car to go get something to eat and the engine light pops up. I'm like, oh man, like the engine light's popping up. That ain't nothing minor. That's nothing minor. So. It's obviously something that's serious. I'm praying that it's something that's not serious, something simple that's an easy fix, you know, because the car, like I said, the car's driving 100% fine. So I'm not, you know, I'm not really tripping about, you know, this purchase. So yeah, I hit him up. I was like, yeah, the engine light just popped up. He's like, oh, the engine light popped up. He's like, go to AutoZone, see what they say. Cause when I had the car, there was nothing wrong with it. You test drove the car, blah, blah, blah. There's nothing wrong with the car. So I go to AutoZone and I get there and I let them run the codes. I'll put a screenshot up of what the code was. But basically what the code was saying is that Cadillac converter wasn't, the emissions in a Cadillac converter wasn't like efficient or something like that, something like that. And basically what that means is I either have to clean the Cadillac converter or replace the Cadillac converter. And as we all know, if you're in this car business, you know that replacing the Cadillac converter is not cheap. Like you're looking at at least 2,000, two grand to get that replaced. So I'm like, there's no way. I call him, I'm like, yeah, dude, it's a Cadillac converter. He's like, oh no, the, the Cadillac, it's, it's, it's fine. The, the car was at the auction, it sits for a while. It just needs to be cleaned. I'm okay, it needs to be cleaned. Are you gonna clean it? Like, are you gonna do something about this? Cause obviously when I bought this car, that was, it was in perfectly fine conditions. And he's just like acting like he's not trying to help. He's getting smart with me. I'm like, okay, so I researched lemon laws and apparently it only works in my state for uh, like brand new cars. So I don't know, I talked to him. He basically, he hung up on me once and everything. So I'm like, but this, this dude really is scamming. Like he really scammed me. 
and I'm gonna put the dealership up so y'all don't know do not go there like do not go to that dealership at all uh, it's in Cincinnati Ohio I don't know if you near that area do not go there but he's not trying to help me or nothing he's like well just take it to your mechanic and see what they say so I, I went ahead and drove it home it drove home perfectly fine like the, I'm in the car now it still drives fine I will say now it is giving a little bit more issues like when you first accelerate it, it kind of it's almost like you don't want to accelerate a little bit but it still it drives fine smooth for the most part so I put some powder clean in there, drove it around a little bit. The end light is still on there. It didn't, it didn't take away the end light. End light still on there. So now I'm to the point like, what do I do? I don't know. Like, I, I pretty much got scammed, like dead ass. I got scammed out of uh, the car. I got a good deal on it, but now I got to put, you know, a couple, probably over a thousand dollars to get it fixed. And when I first heard the news, I had hope because there's a there's a uh, warranty company that they insure all my cars under 100,000 miles. And I was just going to get it fixed through them, but I went and looked through what they fix on cars and the Cadillac, the Cadillac converter was one of the items that they don't fix. So I'm like, man, like I'm really like left with this car just sitting here. I can't make money off of it. I can't do nothing with this car. It drives fine, but there's an light on and it's just, it's not good. Shot the Cadillac clean. That didn't really, that didn't fix the problem. I looked up some videos. They saying you can, you can take the whole Cadillac converter out and clean it. That's obviously going to be hard to do. Or there's this other, uh, other uh, solution you can put in the gas tank. You can put like a gallon of it in there. And some people said that worked. I'm going to try that next. But I'm really like, I really don't know what to do. Like I'm, I'm like serious. Yeah, I don't know. So I'm making this video for you guys to be extremely weary and careful, especially when buying these cars on Facebook Marketplace. They don't like these car lots. They don't care. Like once they sell the car, they don't they don't care what happens after that. So even if you have the opportunity to test drive the car for 20 minutes, try test driving it for 30. Uh, try to, you know, really, really investigate these cars. I don't know what it is, but with these Hondas, I keep having issues. The last Honda I had it had a recall that had no remedy. So I had to sell that car. I got another Hyundai. Now this one, the Cadillac converter is going is out or whatever. So it's like, dang, I don't know what it is about these these Hondas. Yeah, that's basically what happened. So I'm out of you know sixty five hundred dollars basically. I'm not gonna say I'm out of sixty five hundred, but I kind of just wasted my money on buying this car when it come when it come with all these issues. So in the comment section, let me know if you guys have any recommendations, any things I should do. Just let me know, cause you know I'm all ears. I'm not on here just to like give information. I'm here to receive as well. You know, I'm not perfect. I you know, make mistakes and stuff too. And I'm making these videos so you guys don't make the same mistakes that I made. Yeah, that pretty much sums up this video. Like I said, I pretty much got scammed. Before I end the video, I do want to sum up a couple of things you guys can do to avoid the same mistake that I just made. And uh, one of those things I would say would be to always look at these cars in the daytime. Never look at cars at night because it could be even worse than this. Something like this is extremely, I don't know. It's just, I don't think this happens all the time. Especially somebody that test drove the car for over 30 minutes and then ran it like... I don't know that's super coincidental that it literally the engine light came on as i was leaving going back home after i purchased the car i don't know i don't know if dealers can like do something to vehicles to make the engine light go away for for a time period and then pop back up i don't know but be extremely weary when you're looking at these cars on facebook assume the worst assume that there's something wrong with the car investigate everything look at the cadillac converter look at the um the make sure the windows work uh make sure the horn works because that's another thing that i always I don't know why, but some, sometimes I get cars and the horns don't work. If the horn doesn't work, it won't pass Toro's inspection. Make sure the tire thread is decent. Make sure the brakes are good. Make sure the axle halfway decent. So turn the car both ways while like in a parking lot and drive a little bit. Make sure you don't hear any sounds. When you're driving the vehicle, turn the radio off, turn the AC off, turn the heat off, turn everything off so you can hear the sound of the vehicle. And I did all these things. Also, make sure all the uh, like the components to make the, the seat go up uh, forward and backward, make sure those work, make sure the seat belts work. Even if there's no codes, still take the car to like AutoZone and run codes. Even if there's no codes popping up, there's no engine light on, still do that. Yeah, check the suspension, check all these things. Anything you can think of, like make a list before you get there. Look it up online, do whatever you have to do. But yeah, these are the, some of the things that I would tell you guys to do to avoid the mistake I just made. Also, there's a there's warranty companies out here that offers warranties on used cars. So do some research on those warranty companies. Uh, I have my specific one, but I, I mean, everybody's is different. Uh, just do your research on those companies. Also, you know, try to get those if you can. I do that. I get warranties for all my cars, all of them. So uh, those are some of the things you can do. Like I said, my job is for you guys to learn from my mistakes so you don't make the same mistakes. So before I get out of here, like the video, uh, subscribe. And comment down below if you have any recommendations or questions. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.